What's up Deck Gamers? Today I'll be looking into most of the launchers on Steam Deck for Minecraft. So I did say I was going to go in depth with some of these launchers. Uh, I found out that at currently doesn't work on Deck Gaming Mode. Does not work there. It's mainly used for desktop. So if you are a desktop user, avid desktop user, I say at launcher would be the best launcher for you i'm just saying that off the start to let you guys know but for those people that are going to be using this device mostly in that gaming mode prism launcher is going to be the thing for you so i'm going to go into prism, prism launcher in just a second for you guys but i'm going to go into at launcher a little bit because i recently installed aura craft onto at launcher just testing it out seeing how it works and works fairly good i don't have my mouse and keys hooked up right now so i won't be playing with this one i'll be playing with the other version so you know if you don't want to see at just skip to maybe two three minutes in and we get into prism so we got our craft up and running like i said i won't be playing too much well i won't be playing at all because i don't have my mouse and keyboard set up right now but just to show you guys that it actually works, I would get into how to install mods on at launcher, but I feel like that's pretty straightforward. And I feel like not a lot of you are going to be interested in that because most of you will be playing in that gaming mode. So with that being said, I'll just, I'll just show you guys where mods are, you know, you normally go to curse forge and basically find your mod, install it. It would say some mods can be installed from the app. You have to go and find them yourself. But nice thing about this app is once you've downloaded it, it kind of finds it for you and just installs it. So it takes it out of the download folder, adds into your mod folder automatically. So that's one of the good sides about at launcher. Downside is it does not work on gaming mode at the moment, but hopefully that gets fixed out soon because it's so like deeply rooted, I guess into a desktop theme but anyway with all that said let's move on to prison watch all right so all of you who've watched my poly mc video on how to use poly mc this is all gonna be familiar it's basically the same thing you know ba basically i don't know how, how how else to explain it. it's basically the same thing so i'm gonna go ahead and install rl craft to this one and then hop over into the gaming mode and you know what I'm saying play that for you guys real quick and then show you guys how it goes but it's basically the same thing but while this downloads I'll just fast forward a little bit and you know we'll go through the whole download process I won't skip anything out because this is gonna be the main launcher that you want to but want to use because it works in gaming mode so yeah copy and then let's take it over to your browser bring it on over here paste it visit and it should automatically download right here once it's got to where it needs to be all right so let's close out these tabs because i don't know why these are here these are probably my old restore tabs but yeah, I'm gonna go and get all the mods that's requested here. So we need XP from Harvest, Parasites, Locks, and all that. So I'll go and download them all and I'll get back to you. All right, so I've got all those files downloaded here, as you can see. I might've downloaded maybe some twice, but Locks accidentally downloaded twice. So I'll delete it for now. I feel like I'm gonna leave it because I might need it anyway. So one, two, three, four mods. Make sure you have them in your downloads folder, and you want to close that out, and then you want to let it continue what it's doing. So it's gonna continue downloading the mods, and we'll get back to it. Okay. So once RL Craft has appeared in the launcher here, before you launch, you want to go to Edit Instance. You want to go to I'm gonna move this over because I know my deck thing is gonna be in the way. You want to go to Mods. And you have the list of mods that's here should be 169 but we're gonna go add file it's gonna take you to your file explorer you want to look for those four mods 
it's normally an opportunity to drag and select so those four mods right there xp sr spartan and locks you just want to press open if you can select them all go for it i normally just drag select and but you can do it one by one but i just say go for the drag select option open and it basically installs them all here and you want to go to your settings and make sure that the Java installation first. Let's see which version of Java that it needs. So let's go ahead and launch the game. So launch it once you've added the mods, launch. So Prism works just like PolyMC. It's basically the group. They just bend it together and made a new thing. Still the same. You know, I wouldn't say fully trusted with your life, but it's a familiar software that you all probably adapt by now. And you know, we all love Poly MC. So Prism is going to be taking that place. All right. So this instant is not compatible with Java version 17. Please switch to one of the following versions for this instance. All right. For this option, like I say before, in all the videos, you can go ahead and watch, rewatch my videos. It helps a lot. So we go select Java installation auto detect and you select eight. You can either use the GRE version or just a normal GDK eight bin bio Java. You know what I'm saying? I normally just go for the center one here. This always works better for me. And then you want to launch game once that's selected and it should just all launch it. So once it's launched, I'm not going to launch it here. I'm going to abort it and then we we'll get into deck mode and then finalize it from there just to make sure that it's running. I'm just gonna let it fully load itself here because I normally always like load my mod in desktop mode before launching it in the game mode just to make sure everything runs and it actually runs because when you get into gaming mode, you start to get like crashes and whatnot and whatnot. So I'd say test your mod here in desktop mode before entering gaming mode. So I'll just let this do its thing. I'll speed through and then I'll see you guys at the end. All right, so we can confirm that it works in Prism. So we're gonna go back into our deck gaming mode and then give it a test out there. So I'll see you guys there. Oh, I feel like I forgot to mention, if you guys are new to this launcher and don't know how like to use it, I'll say go back and watch my Poly MC video. It's basically the same thing. Nothing's changed really. The way to sign in is pretty same way to install mods technically all the same so it's basically just a new name <laughs> new name i'm just gonna rename the old video and just anytime you hear poly mc just think prism that's our new that's our new thing anyway let's get to gaming mode and see what it looks like all right so once you're in your deck launcher as you always do I mean, I didn't show you guys how to add this as a non-Steam game, but like I said, go and watch the old video. I'll probably leave a tab up so you guys can check it out. You want to go over to Prism Launcher and then, you know, slap that easy. And we're going to have RL Craft launch. I'm going to launch it and I'm just going to get to the launch screen because I'm not going to let you guys watch another Minecraft loading screen. So let's launch game. Okay, here we go. So we are on gaming deck mode now. <laughs> deck gaming mode, what am I saying? Uh, so we're gonna go single player. Yeah. So I'm gonna create a new game and then we're gonna run it out for a little bit to see how that works. Survival, why not? Let's just play in survival. Create new world. So yeah, I just use RL Craft for the basis of this video because RL Craft is one of those mods that I've been continuously using throughout all these videos and it's it's a beefy mod you know what I'm saying? it's beefy all right so load it in uh what i wanted to say i wanted to say what the fuck i wanted to say um i am not trying to redo or remake all the old videos that i made honestly i do appreciate all the feedback and you know i appreciate actually helping you guys to play minecraft because i do love minecraft as you can see from the channel but yeah, I'm not trying to do that over and over again, but you know, I try to B 
be on time with things. But that being said, the next videos that I'm going to be dropping are going to be the shader videos. I couldn't really do the shader videos because, you know, the whole thing went down. I had to kind of delete everything. So that just went to shit. So now that I'm comfortably, you know, we playing again. Look at us. We're here. Oh, what the freak? All right, so we, we, hey, this, this is clean. This is clean. I can't lie. This is clean. This is beautiful. So, yeah, I hope my videos are kind of like, you know, tutorial and proof of concepts that you can get Minecraft, even the beefiest versions, working on Steam Deck. I would like, i like to make this, oh, Christ. So, I'd like to make this video a little longer. Are you going to hurt me, my boy? Alright, cool. I like to make this video a little longer, but I can't right now because I ain't got the well. Oh shit. Anyway, <laughs> let's, let's 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 keep on pace. Let's keep on pace. Let's keep on pace. Next video I'm gonna be dropping is gonna be the shadiest video. It's it's kind of complicated. I want you guys to feel it, like it's it's a bit daunting, but we're gonna get the shaders up and running. You guys have to get up to fine, up and running better um fps mods if you guys are into that source and i got a few dozen mod requests that i need to comb through and get get off you guys so yeah i would have had it done sooner but like i said the mod pack well not mod pack the mod launcher well minecraft launcher you know well we all know so yeah with that being said I hope this video was helpful for you guys who have launched, well, lost your Poly MC launchers and helped you. Is that fire? It's fire. Oh shit. Anyway, let's 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 not let's not let's not pay attention to that. I hope this video has helped you guys to get back into your modding days on Poly MC. And. I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. <laughs> Peace.